<clears throat> All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. And hopefully all of you have not gone crazy from this isolation. You know, I'm chilling. I'm doing just food. Uh, I actually wound up spending yesterday very uh, in a very productive manner. I actually worked on my game for like eight, nine hours. Of course, the problem was I didn't realize changing the mass on my bullet caused weird glitching. And then I wound up like manipulating other things and I kept breaking my game. So I actually had to delete my project and restart from um, from scratch from the day, you know, not from the beginning. So I lost all four hours of computer programming uh, progress. Uh, just really goes to show just how like how hard this shit is. But that's why you get paid the big bucks. Um, but now I'm actually starting to have a slight conflict because, you know, you know, my story is just going to be like when I was making my movie, right? People are going to get kind of like irritated with the fact that it's a, you know, conservative Christian, you know, show slash game and well, prove that it's not actually, you know, they're going to be cursing and whatever stuff. Right. But of course that's just part for the course, but, um, you know, people are still going to get kind of triggered. So, and obviously most, you know, musicians and whatever, they tend to be left-leaning people. So, like, you know, they're, they're going to get kind of mad, <clears throat> you know, when working on my projects. So, you know, what, what, what do you do then, right? So, <clears throat> but the thing is, I can easily get around it by just simply changing the story and just slightly removing certain, you know, a few words. And that's that. But then I don't feel I'll be honest. So on top of that, I do like the fact that I can expose people just for, well, I don't agree with the content of your story, so I ain't going to work with you even though I'm starving. Then I don't want to work with somebody like that because they're fucking retarded. You know, I'm starving, but I have my ideology. Yeah, that's why you're a fucking starving loser retard artist that doesn't make any money. And ultimately have no impact on the world. Because you're retarded. <clears throat> You know, so you don't keep an open mind, which is pretty much the most important thing about an artist. That's the, that's the funny thing. Now, with that being said, it still becomes a problem because there'll still be a lot of, especially the good talent, that will constantly keep doing that. And then all of a sudden, I just have a bunch of these fucking, you know, F words just behaving the exact same way. So, you know, at some point, it just it's just like, my God, where are all the fucking conservatives, you know, doing art? It's just like, you know, there's nowhere to be found. So it, it just it just becomes very frustrating. So, uh, but all that being said, you know, um, you know, I'll have to worry about that later, I guess. Alternatively, I could be a little more sneaky and just commission the work, but I don't tell people what the project's for. Uh, and th and then when they find out, then they'll be like, "You didn't tell me." Right? It's like, well, you know, you got paid, so what more do you want? Uh, but I kind of don't like that, too, because it's lying and manipulative, too. So, I don't know. But it, it's definitely something I now have to take into consideration. You know, liberals don't have to fucking worry about that. It's such bullshit. Anyway, I gotta refresh all these pages, because, obviously, Firefox is a garbage-ass um, browser. I'm gonna refresh this one more time. But, yeah, that's what I wound up doing yesterday. A lot of work, a lot of work, a lot of work. Oh my god, three energy for that? Fuck off. All right, uh, so anyway, so far uh, things should be proceeding as planned. Actually, I don't even know. What's today's markets? Uh, it's down 234. Okay, now it's down 8 cents. Yeah, okay, this looks fine. I'm going to refresh this one more time just in case it's not correct. Bitcoin searches for this week continue to be uh, 12, so not too bad. <clears throat> I'm recovering pretty quickly from my cold. I also took another dose of my super vitamin B to, uh, supplement yesterday, too. So, I also happened to get a pretty good rest last night, too, despite being on bed around 1.30 a.m. Yeah, I went to bed pretty quickly. Played a little Tarkov, too, just to blow some steam off. But yeah, I worked really hard on my game yesterday, so... Today, I'm going to try and see if I can finally get the health bar to work, because the problem is my health bar keeps rotating with my character. I want it so that it just stays on top of my character. The problem is uh, my character, because my 2D game is designed to just simply rotate, you know, it's causing all sorts of problems. And it's surprisingly annoying how like 
I just cannot find the answer online because they're always just like, just go do this. And they don't fucking tell you how to do it. It's just like retarded. Man, anyway, I got to watch a Bracky's 21-minute video tutorial about it. The problem is it's not very efficient either because he uses canvas UIs instead of just like the image. But whatever. Uh, I guess I'll just worry about it later. I mean, I guess it's going to not have too many things uh, entities in the thing anyway. You know, because like all, because as I make the game, I kind of realize it's just like filmmaking, right? It's all about illusions and feelings, which is why women especially love filmmaking. Men like it too, but you know, that, that's kind of the reason why shit just tends to be more left wing, right? Because women tend to be more left wing. I mean, it's just how it is, right? It's like, ah. Oh, there's a thousand enemies. It's just me. I feel so powerful. But can you, can you, can you as a human being really process a thousand? I can. Most people apparently can't. So instead, what I do is maybe I just put five, ten people as just you. It's like, oh man, there's a lot of people around me. And it's like, oh, it's all over the place. Then it's gonna feel like it's you versus a thousand enemies when numerically it's actually less than that. You know, that's all illusion and feeling. And that's gonna be pretty important because um. I mean, the Unity engine probably can handle a shit ton of enemies, but I mean, my code's not exactly, because again, I'm teaching myself coding and I'm using Bracky's tutorials, which are definitely not um, very well optimized in a lot of cases. Well, not a lot, but some cases. Um, so, you know, and I want my game to run really well. That's why I'm making it 2D. So, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, market. um... So yeah, but it, you know it's proceeding along uh, nicely. Uh, of course, I'm thinking about crypto as well. Like you know, 404 coin. Problem is when when it, when the final APR drops to like I think 40.4 percent because we want, we want to keep the 404 thing going. Um, like the price will be really high, but you're only going to be making 40 percent a year APR. So. Unless like 404 coins worth like you know two million dollars, you know 40 percent of that is you know that that's a sizable chunk of change. But if you have less than two million, it's like uh, you know we're gonna have the same problem with JMC coins. So that's what I'm thinking. But on the other hand, we have multiple coins, right? So that's why JMC coin, like if the 404 coin, uh, hard, not a hard for, but uh, coin swap is successful because we have to redo the whole blockchain because like the code is fundamentally different. That's why we have to go that far. All right, we'll do the same thing for JMC coin. We'll set the APR to like, I think I might actually settle on 150% APR. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, so, but uh, first things first, we gotta get rid of stupid coronavirus because I won't be hearing from Mitch for a while because he's basically stuck in Germany, right? Because that's where he's from. So, um, yeah. Um, so until that shit is resolved, you know, but he's doing all right, so. So it's just a matter of waiting. All right, Bitcoin does at sixty three point nine percent. Twenty four hour volume is at one fifty four point nine billion. Uh, Bitcoin's basically at seven grand. Very nice, it's going up. Litecoin's going up as well, forty two eighteen. Uh, very good. Uh, Doggy coin. Uh, two forty eight point four million market cap. Very nice. So overall, crypto is up a slight, a, 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 an okay modest amount. Steam is up to 15.07 cents. Very good. Very good. Uh, get out. Uh, so the markets are down today, but just a little bit. So not really much. Uh, coronavirus wipes out the jobs the last 11 years. Yeah, well, wait until you see what happens with uh, immigration and automation. <laughs> Facebook's Libra crypto revamped. Uh, I don't care about Libra. Reopening kind should prioritize healthcare needs. Uh, believe it or not, I actually would agree with that. Like we have to reopen. Everyone's he, like he, the Democrats even are now agreeing to that. So we're definitely going to be reopening pretty soon, pretty quickly. Hopefully within the next couple of weeks. And of course it'll be partial. Some more rural areas, mostly conservative areas. Conservative areas. You know there'll be more open but the point is we just gotta fucking reopen something best games have passed during the time during coronavirus lockdown oh it'd be nice if one day you know after all this is over my game would be listed here you know make whitman would not be in favor of breaking up big tech of course she would say that 
All right. So, yeah. Uh, and then of course, you know, you got people on the right or people who lean right or right friendly are still bashing China. So, you know, uh, you know, there's that. But of course, I don't see any of them mentioning the most important thing is if they're really serious about punishing China, why aren't they also saying, hey, we need to bring manufacturing back in. We need to start punishing American companies for, you know, we're uh, putting their putting their jobs over there. I don't hear anybody saying that. It's like. So it's like, is anybody serious about anything, or they just want to like just drum up bullshit and drama, right? It's it's like, it it's very irritating to me. GMC coins that's uh, basically seven to eight because it says six to eight, but the seven's missing here. So you can definitely get seven here. You just gotta wait. Yeah, someone just dumped like a, you know eleven trillion GMC coins. Four hundred four coins gone down a bit. It's now six to seven. However, the seven looks really weak. So you could probably get seven to eight. You just you know jump into the thing. Um, so I think I guess I guess someone's dumping all the uh, exotic cryptos like ours and just buying up the majors right now. So all right, fine, whatever. You know, as long as everything starts going up, then eventually we benefit too. Two by two coin continues to be very strong, sixty nine to seventy, very very nice. Uh, compound coin is still. I kind of want to sneeze, but I don't. Hmm. Uh all right, well, not happening. Uh, sixty-one fifty to seven thousand satoshis of a dog coin, approximately. So, eh, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, all right, let's see. Reporting okay, having a good coin drop. Bitcoin, the Bitcoin spikes, liquidating twenty-three million. Yeah, we don't care. Bitcoin's halving soon. Um, yeah, I mean, Bitcoin halving combined with Amer oh, the America and the whole world reopening. Yeah, pretty good. Um, actually, we probably should open up Donald Trump's Twitter here, uh, because he actually even also said, uh, I don't want to dig through all this shit, but basically he said that he talked with everybody in the industry. They all agree they want to reopen. So, uh, today more than, and then even a uh, Democrat black congressman, I think, um, said he's going to endorse Trump or whatever and bucked the Democrat party because he's like, yeah, we kind of need the fucking money. So, I mean, the fact that people are actually be like, hey, you know, can you, can we just, you know, stop with this bullshit and like just, just get this crap back open, you know, so. Uh, so I find, so that was pretty, and he retweeted somewhere in his timeline. I just don't feel like, it, actually, it's not too far down. Uh... uh uh, Sean Hannity. Uh, all right, I don't feel like looking for it. Unless maybe the guy like decided to delete his tweet. That would be funny too. Uh, Lemon days. GM source materials for sure. Manufacturing train work for the build life training ventilators and you yeah, watch the clip. I don't want to watch. Um, federal government has ordered to ship hundreds of millions of PPE uh, items around the country. I don't know what that is, but obviously we really need it. OANN gives Trump a fifty-two percent of any North Carolina or Z. It probably also has helped other. Uh, you're, you're a poor leader, you really hate security like yourself, Shiny, she's totally copying control by our argument. Yeah, we could put that problem. Yeah. Yeah, bile harvesting. Okay, so basically, more or less, Trump's basically back kind of like to him, uh, his usual self, so that's a good sign. Uh, let's see. Trump is still only tr ahead of Joe by like five cents. This is just ridiculous. Money match says, oh yeah, before we look at coronavirus, because I don't really feel like reading any of this stuff, plus I want to play my um, Galaxy of Heroes and de-stress a little bit before I probably have a no doubt another day of rigorous uh, programming where something obviously is going to go wrong again. Money match says Ripple cross-border payments technology cut costs by... <clears throat> okay, then evil small immunity. Global macro investor pivoting to Bitcoin more as economic fall could trigger currency collapse. I think we saw this. Yeah, we don't care. Mark Cuban says Bitcoin must become friction free to survive. Warrants global coming points for now move to the downside. Uh, Mark Cuban's actually been pretty chill and cool lately. Uh, so here I will just be, I will respectfully disagree with him 100%. Uh, he's just wrong. Uh, I also don't know what he means by friction free to survive. Bitcoin has already proven itself. <laughs> you know, it's already been like, how many times has it gone down by 85, 90%? All 
right? And it's bounced back up since. It's like, <laughs> you know, for, like for those for those of you who've been doing this a long time, like me, yeah, it's just another it's just another day at the office. So. <laughs> oh, it's down ninety percent. Uh, okay, well, I guess we have to keep our job a little while longer. Um, let's see. Some old guy has coronavirus. U.S. banks could seize customers' car or relief cash to settle debts. Report that is so cruel and inhumane, uh, but that does make sense. Um, yeah, I mean it's all just a big giant scam. It's just all a big giant scam. But you know, lucky for me, I beat the banks, and now I have plenty of cash, and I don't owe anybody anything except uh, my student loans. Essentially, uh, technically, I have a credit card, right? Um, when I buy shit off of Amazon, but that's because it's the Visa. The Amazon Prime Visa card or whatever the, from Chase Bank, and I obviously pay off the whole thing in full every month, uh, like clockwork. Because I used to just do it directly from my bank account. So it's the same thing. The only difference is I get five percent extra shit from Amazon, so it's like the total bargain for me. So I'm so I'm getting more free shit. <clears throat> some of you who watch, like well, some of you are really crazy and irresponsible. You you should be paying off your shit because. <clears throat> Remember, if you want to get rid of your credit card debt the way I did, you have to you have to actually trash your credit rating, and it'll be on your record for seven years. In my case, I didn't care, right? Because I was poor. But a lot of you don't have that situation, so because you got a house or a condo, or you own property, or you got kids that you got to worry about, or you know whatever, you can't do that, right? Well, I mean, you could do it, but I'd imagine your financial situation is going to be much more problematic, and you probably don't have the uh, emotional IQ. Or experience like I do to deal with something like that of that magnitude. So just don't do it. Just pay off your fucking credit cards, all right? Because your the actual interest on, especially if you only do like the minimum balance or a little bit more than the minimum balance, can range anywhere from a hundred to two hundred percent a year. All right, it's a scam. And like um, I don't know, if we had an honest country, we would make it so that like. You know the max a the max APR you would pay a credit card would be like twenty percent or something, like just uh, like I I, don't, I I honestly just don't understand it. I just don't. Besides, think about like think of it this way: like, what if you put it in like four hundred four JMC or two by two or even fucking any cryptocurrency, right? All that extra money you're sending to the credit cards and the banks, you could have gone into here and just get more money eventually. It's like it's just it's just so stupid, right? It's just so stupid. Like, just pay off your credit cards. Just pay that shit off, right? Or, again, look up um, credit card debt reduction. What's that thing where you could call... There's a thing where you could call up your credit card company and negotiate, like, hey, I don't want to pay your credit card and the whole thing, but it, I can pay off the whole thing if we... Whatever. I mean, that's going to be a little hard because you might need a lawyer because the banks are definitely going to try to scam you out of that one. Um, so, uh, yeah. But, yeah, uh, just, just assume pretty much... All the banks essentially are evil people, right? They're they're just evil, uh, you know, because they, they just want your fucking money. You know, uh, I mean, not the people who work in like in the branches. And there's, there's regular employees. I'm talking about like you know the policies, the you know the big CEOs and shit. They're all evil people essentially. Coronavirus live update to government funding once. It, okay, I don't, oh wait, this this thing thinks I'm in Australia. Let's refresh this. Uh, coronavirus line update 22 millions have lost, I guess, their jobs. Coronavirus may be resistant to high temperature study war, and so they're still going with the fear mongering. First of all, this is bullshit because, again, in Africa, have you noticed there's, no, there's hardly any fucking coronavirus there? They have it, but it's a lot more manageable. Also, this is very similar to the SARS flu, so guess what? It's vulnerable to the heat. Trump to issue guy like easing coronavirus. Oh, I actually want to read this. So Trump's going to be easing guidelines on that. Okay, good. And on positive plan to reopen Canada after coronavirus could include. Okay, I want to read that. This is just definitely uh, here. CNN attacking Trump. Uh, first of all, so here's the funny thing. Uh, I don't want to get into it, but basically they're saying states have rights, right? Uh, so all of a sudden liberals are now like pro states' rights when before when Obama was in charge, like, well, no, like the. Only the president and government has authority over states. States don't have, can't do shit. So it's like the I, <clears throat> like as much as I'm not too thrilled with Nick Fuentes attacking like China and Chinese people so much. At least when he's in power, you know, like, he can deal with the fake news terrorists in some very extremely harsh way. And I guess if he doesn't work on his empathy, uh, he'll just be replaced by someone else. 
you know, because that's what happens, right? People can't hold power because they don't have empathy. Uh, and the liberals only have empathy and no logic, so that's why they also lose power. So you need, you need to have both. All right. Luckily, I have it. Bad news is only a few people like me are like that out there. So, you know, what are you going to do? <clears throat> Actually, I do have a plan, but that's why I got to make the game. Coronavirus pandemic isn't hurting as much as much as fear. Really? Huh. Oh, God, planes jumped five by last week. It's currently okay. Yeah, so I'm seeing a lot more. I'm seeing a lot more stuff about this. Yeah, because because remember what I said when this whole thing started. The number one thing globals do not want is everyone becoming a right wing, angry nationalist, and that's exactly what's happening, right? And on top of that, people are at home because you told them to stay at home. So guess what that means? They actually have time to rest and relax and reevaluate their lives and their ideas, right? And when that happens, they start asking questions, and when they start asking questions. They're going to start wanting answers, right? You know, Nick Fuentes did allude to that a lot yesterday. He said this is a boon for nationalism, and it totally is. Because if we had nationalism, he used the word actual racist. He actually said if we were racist, we wouldn't have this shit. Unfortunately, he's right. You know, that's why we need nationalism, right? So people don't have to resort to racism. Because, you know, I mean, think about it. People are losing their jobs. They're losing money, people are committing suicide, there are domestic violence beatings all over the place. You know, people are very angry, right? I'm actually kind of impressed that, you know, there aren't more hate crimes uh, against Asian people, all right? You know, not that I'm obviously asking for more of that, but I'm actually pretty impressed that people are actually being pretty nice uh, overall. But it's not going to last if we don't fucking lift this shit open. So, uh, we'll, we'll actually read these. Um... Wait, I opened up two articles. Where's the other one? This is Hartford. Oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. All right. Uh, save a life. Start tomorrow. All you must wear a cloth face covering or a mask where so it cannot be maintained. Well, look, I have my face mask. But they also have to like start giving people masks because like I, like I have my mask and then the store closed down that sold it because you know coronavirus. So how the fuck am I supposed to get a mask? <clears throat> um, oh, okay. How in the area to provide pro campaign? We need more volunteers. Lauren, you know, like a DD. We do it again. Make sure cover your favorite I believe in us. Must wear a anywhere. It's not possible. Uh, forget if you're riding in a subway or walking on a busy sidewalk, you must wear a face mask like a bandana or a mask. Um, okay. Uh, okay. The gradually phased reopening will be determined by one, how essential industry is, and two, what the infection risk for is for each industry. The most essential low risk industry will be opened first. Okay, so that's how they're going to do it. This makes the most sense. Um, I have my face mask, so I don't have to worry about this, but I find this kind of a problem. But I mean, on the other hand, uh, Mario Cuomo, Mario, Andrew, I'll just call him Mario Cuomo. I think you all know who I mean. But Mario here has, doesn't really have much of an option. So he, he's got to try to thread the needle between like a million rocks and a million hard places. So, you know, yeah, you know, so plus he's not wasting his Twitter timeline to like bash Republicans, conservatives or Trump, you know, so he's actually doing a genuinely good job. Uh, which is why he's even being considered for president, even though he outright flat out said, no, I am not running, right? You know, because that, because when people thought before he made that announcement, he was up to 10 cents, right? Because Cuomo was actually a vastly superior candidate compared to Joe Biden. And on top of that, uh, from political science class, I know that people from New York, uh, very much happen to actually have a very real chance of becoming Congress people, senators, and even presidents. Uh, because of the nature of being in New York, right? Because New York really is a microcosm of what America really is like, you know? So it, it's, a, it's a very good training ground, basically. You want to become president, you should actually get a, uh, become some sort of government official uh, in New York. Uh, an unprecedented plan to reopen Connecticut after coronavirus could include surveillance, confinement, and extensive tensing, but risk, oh, Jesus. Uh... Hmm. 
excuse me. Yeah, if, actually, you have coronavirus. Yeah, you have to be confined. Ah, uh, shit, yeah. But this is really borderline problematic because they could easily twist... Yeah, that's why they're talking about privacy rights. Like, this could easily be turned into, like... Hey, I think uh, you have right-wing nationalist leanings. And you have to have guns. I think we're just going to confine you because you're a, you're a white nationalist, weak that you know terrorist risk. Like this could be a real problem. Um, uh, but I mean, you can't have people coronavirus just walking around, right? I mean, they're obviously going to kill a lot of people, uh, either deliberately or uh, uh, unintentionally. Uh, so yes, hold on. This is also going to make it so that people are just not going to get the test. Like, if anyone's watched that show, uh, Man in the High Castle, like the fictional alternative history where the Nazis uh, won World War II, they start, they had required testing for people, and if people tested, you know, positive for whatever bad disease, even if you were like a white bread, blue, blonde hair, blue eyed, you know, German Nazi person, like they killed you, right? Because you have to have to keep the race pure. Like, like this is exactly what's going to like I don't like I don't like the direction this is going, and then what's worse is we kind of have to test people too. So it really just comes down to trust, and obviously I don't trust the government. I especially don't trust liberals. All right, you know conservatives at least will kind of respect your civil rights, you know, but eventually the lack of empathy catches up with them. Liberals, on the other hand, they have empathy, but they'll just simply but because they don't have God in their lives, typically they'll just start resorting to all sorts of evil shit. So it's like, you know, it's like, how do you want to get fucked in the ass? You know, do you want to die from cancer or from a heart attack? Right. You know, America is all about choice, butter or margarine, cancer or heart attack. <laughs> so I kind of just want the choice where I don't have to choose between those two. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So they're going to surveil people. They're going to. Oh, my God. No, this is not good. All right. Let's see what the Washington Post has to say. At least they're not putting this under the paywall because this is really pissing, really annoying. Yeah, the Russian post coronavirus coverage is free through our newsletter. Trump is to issue guidelines easing coronavirus and unemployment claims continue to soar. Will you go away? Holy shit. Um, let's see, regroup here. The U.S. labor market is tumbling closer to depression levels. Uh, okay, President Trump. Well, here's the thing. They're comparing... Well, the U.S. population back during the Depression was a lot smaller than it is today. So, I mean, you forget about scale and as a percentage. All right. Um, unemployment rate, USA, Great Depression. Uh, unemployment rate. Uh, can you just give me a short thing? All right, so the employment rate was around 20 or 25%. That doesn't sound that bad at all. And then, of course, went down during World War II. Okay. Um, okay, uh, did he... Let's see. What did he reopen? It's been pretty good. Trump on coronavirus. Here's some security. Uh, Japan expands state of emergency to cover all 47 prefectures and infection spreads. Oh, yeah, I guess that's what they call it prefecture. That could be pretty useful in my uh, game and story. Prefecture. Like you have districts, you have counties. A district under the government of a prefect. Hmm. Okay. I'm actually going to put that in my story in case I need it, because I'm, I'm trying to, like, to distinguish between the good people, the good side, and, like, you know, the empire side, or imperial side. So, you know, I, I need the terminology, different terminology becomes, that sounds, prefecture is a district under government district control. All right, there we go. And I'm going to put that in my little toolbox on Gmail. There we go. Now we got it. So, yeah, different words, very cool sounding, very good. First of all, we warned that the country would not exit a full lockdown until a vaccine is available. Lockdown. Facebook said it will alert users who interact with coronavirus and mystery by putting them in the newsfeed or do the official. So, the World Health Organization. Jeez, this is why I hate. This is why, see, like, everyone wants to bitch at World Health Organization. Okay, fine. Are, are they going to bitch about uh, Facebook, too? You know, it's like, I'm just getting so sick and tired of this shit. The World Health Organization, organization caused this shit. I'm just, uh, I'm just glad that 
Trump is defunding their asses. Hopefully he'll be able to defund more, but he's got to be a little careful because, again, it's the election year. So Singapore is continuing to once received widespread praise. Its highest single-day increase in infections on Wednesday. Make rigidity. Uh, the curve, uh, of course, why they kept lending credibility to China when it could express more skepticism. Uh, okay, so even the Washington Post is actually acknowledging that the WHO screwed up. Doctors in the drug company in the U.S. have launched more than 100, mil, 100 human experiments in a disorganized and scattershot effort to find treatments for coronavirus. Oh, and I guess, I guess that's, the, uh, that's, that's it. Hmm, zoom. Yeah, well, I mean, here's the thing. If you want to punish China, like, how are you going to do it? You don't have, first of all, you don't have, do we have the IQ? Not really. Do we have the money? Kind of-ish. Do we have, do we have the domestic cohesion, right? Or are we divided? <clears throat> you know, from what I can tell, it's just like everyone's just going to be getting angry at each other with no real solution. So that's why I'm kind of curious what's going to happen when all this is over. And of course, I have to keep my head down because I don't want people who are retarded or are angry and then just decide, you know what, let's wipe out all the Chinese people. And, and, and then like, you know, we're going to have another like mass shooting situation or something. Right. So, uh, yeah. But uh, I don't know. But uh, supposedly they're actually, I guess Nick Fuentes mentioned this, but yeah, like supposedly China actually did deliberately infect everybody with coronavirus. Uh, and then lied about it. If that's actually the case, that actually becomes like a really big, uh, really big problem. I'm kind of curious to see if Mike has mentioned anything like that. Uh, stranger is not fun. Poor I need to leave my mind. I should to pay rent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why I just don't like any of this situation. Christopher Steele was making Trump during the D. Um, arranged forced marriage. Is that safe? Because you're running, you can't fit. Yeah, arranged marriages. I think the people involved can still agree or disagree. Glenn, uh, finally, uh, Wall Street titans, including billionaire Glenn Hutchins, finance conservative Democratic Party challenger AOC. Really? Uh, former C. Oh, she's former CNBC also. Okay. Well, I would vote for her. Unfortunately, um, well, uh, what, 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 what was she doing at CNBC? That's actually really important. What, for a contributor who is... Cha okay, so she actually went on CNBC to talk. <clears throat> okay. Her uh, does not, in my view. Okay. Uh, all right, so she she does have basic articulation skills at the minimum, but probably I mean she's on CNBC and was a regular contributor, so um, she she probably knows how to communicate her ideas. So that's actually pretty good. Because to be honest, as much as I like to you know have AOC and her stupid squad or whatever you know do all sorts of stupid shit, it's like you know I I think I do think she's a bigger threat. Uh, in like the downsides to having AOC is a lot more worse than the upsides like whatever silver lines you can get so and on top of that it provides a convenient punching bag for like fake conservatives it's like aoc 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 and then like they divert your attention away from real things like you know race uh iq truth talk <clears throat> people who are screwing over america that's not just china but like the countries in the middle east that cannot be named and cannot be criticized Right. You know, the fact that we don't have free speech, you know, like the less distractions there are, the more we can focus on the one thing that does always remain the truth. Right. Because the truth will set us all free. I just hope I don't get killed by the time that happens. Right. That's the only thing I worry about. So the two had their job offers revoked, one in New York City and one in Arlington. Uh, OK. Uh, what is it? TikTok. Sports updates, community. Well, here's the thing: people want to bash China, but TikTok is made by China, uh, by actual China. <laughs> well, so a lot of games we play are, you know, like Riot Games and Tencent are owned by China. So I mean, I don't know what people are really gonna do. In school, they don't teach you how to buy property; they teach you how to become someone else's property. Who will be voting for Trump in November? He's 100% right. He's 100. <sighs> Hundred percent right. Crypt 
crypto currency uh, filmmaking and now computer programming it's the yeah Kanye's a hundred percent right I got as far as I did because you know I just taught myself you can't you can't really rely too much on the school system all right I especially find this true because like I'm looking for outsourcers where are all the fucking Americans right nowhere right because they don't know how to do it <laughs> right or I mean they're not even charging for anything like they're just simply not there right because it, it, it's a really horrible situation <clears throat> now are there some I, I guess but most of these people live in Europe so I mean that's the closest thing to American I can get <laughs> right but they're not in America so it's like what do I do and I obviously need music or artwork for my fucking game right so yeah it, it, it's truly it's truly a really shitty situation um by the way did I actually do my replies uh, let me see where are we out 36 minutes oh man I was hoping this would be a short, uh, uh, oh, I didn't do a reply. All right, whatever. I don't care about the reply. Fuck it. We're not like, not, I'm not going to be really farming for, uh, follows or whatever is anyway. Oh, formation. Yeah. are an all time high. Oh yeah. Deus Ex, uh, the original game mentioned this too. <laughs> well, that's what happens. Coming in, Dixon says that because of what the media did to everywhere I go, there's someone that will point me out and words if it will be a good or bad confrontation. <clears throat> oh wow! She, oh wow! She works for Fox News now. That's actually pretty good. She's actually pretty legit. Yeah, fake news terrorism needs to be um, punished. Like this is exactly what they do. Uh, clever. Let's go, Federal Five, very kind. You run to lockdown and see what, how quickly expert opinions change. Uh, there are docs who support opening up. They look at their empty house and ask them for elective surgery and know they're going to be in trouble short of the kind and at least partially resume. Yeah. You know what I think is like, uh, women aren't able to get their boob jobs. <laughs> so, you know, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to be, uh, definitely more encouraged to, um, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, reopen America for another reason. Did, did you want line out for me versus Barnes Law right now? Yeah, I'm not gonna be tweeting anything from Will Chamberlain. Uh, super tech jobs, Seattle CEO. Yeah, Seattle it actually does know what they're doing. Probably my best piece to date. Let me know what you think. Jeez, dear American socials, this is what social looks like in Venezuela. Oh, I was gonna say this can't be America because we have <laughs> we have plenty of shit here. When Tulsi Bar J said Barry refused her endorsement, it turns out he was telling the truth. Barry was working with Joe for weeks at this point. Tulsi knew he was dropping out and still endured weeks of abuse to protect Bernie. We don't deserve a politician like. Uh, I still here we have to protect Bernie. We don't deserve a politician like her. Um. Uh, he, 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 he. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, Tulsi's a good person. Like, I can definitely sense that. I mean, yeah, she has some stupid left-wing ideas, but that's because she's been exposed to... Well, first, she's from a left-wing area, right? So she has to have left-wing ideas or she won't get elected. Um, uh, I know we talked today talking hoax success, ban, and more success. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, Scooter Donnie, I, I met both Scooter and John Dutrois, I think that's how you pronounce his name. John was pretty cool, I immediately followed him, but Scooter didn't seem to like me for some reason, so it's like, huh? <laughs> alright, so I don't see anything about China bashing there on Mike's timeline, so, alright, good enough for me. So I guess we'll see how this plays out, but once everything starts opening up, we should have, uh, you know, uh, it, it should be back to normal, and then we can uh, start you know, uh, taking advantage of the situation afterwards. Um, but yeah, for the most part, China still has too much leverage over everyone because everyone wants to be leveraged by China. So whatever, I'll just let, I'll just let all the racist people, you know, you know, play their bullshit out, see what happens. All right. If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC radio. 
make sure you smash that subscribe on the right hand side of this page and uh yeah let's try to grow this channel uh so yeah not too much happening right now uh we're gonna need some sort of thumbnail i really have no idea what we're gonna do um let's see i don't want doom and gloom uh i guess we'll just do this uh yeah so anyway Enough for the day, I got a lot of distractions I need to do, mostly from video gaming. I'm going to take today off physically for lifting weights too, so it's two days. <sighs> In a row. So, yeah. Alright, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, things are getting better. So, that's all I can ask. Judge the chat. JMC coin. 404 coin. <clears throat> Excuse me. And right now, everything's poised and ready to go back up, but can't happen until obviously after... We start reopening. The good news is everyone is reopening. Uh, so, like, Democrat, conservative, whatever. So, uh, and the globalists have a huge, enormous pressure to do it. In fact, um, shit, I hope I retweeted that tweet. That thing where it says hospitals realize, hey, we kind of need these elective surgeries to stay in business. Uh, so they're even like, yeah, we need to reopen. So, uh, and in fact, I think colleges should begin to realize, hey, no one's actually going into our colleges. So we kind of need to reopen this shit. Because I guarantee you know what's going to actually happen? Because students are not getting relief. They're going to drop out of college. And if they drop out of college, the colleges don't make any more money. Maybe I'll reopen the fucking country, assholes. Right? See you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks. Johnson Chen, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. Uh, the light is literally right around the corner. Uh, actually, I can you can should be able to see the light. Uh, I do. So uh, we kind of need... Oh, yeah, this thing. So I don't know what I'm going to title this. So I don't know. I'll think of something. Um, but yeah, we got to watch out for the civil liberties violation shit. Uh, because the, what's insidious is they have an actual reason to do it. But of course, they're going to abuse and exploit it. So that's what we have to be on guard for. Because we can't have people with coronavirus just walking around infecting everybody, right? You know, especially if... For me, I have an immune, uh, immune system compromised, right? I could die from... I would actually die from coronavirus, probably. At the very least, I would get very sick. Um, but I'm pretty sure it would just kill me outright. Uh, but I'm all right with God, so I think, uh, I think I'll be okay in the afterlife. Uh, but then what about old people, right? Or, you know, or fat people, right? <laughs> it's, yeah. And then that's what they're going to use to go, hey, we did it with coronavirus. Now let's say let's do it with guns and conservatives. And it's like, okay. And it's like, so we got to be on the lookout for this shit.